What's up guys, it's Ryan with Tweak My Device. I'm holding this beautiful Galaxy Nexus here. And uh, before we get too far into the tweaks and uh, you know installing some custom ROMs, kernels, and radios, we need a way to get back to factory. A brick is bad. A brick won't boot up. You can't use a brick. You don't want a $650 paperweight. So check this out. It's very easy to get your Nexus back to the 4.0.2 factory firmware. You'll see how to restore all of the software and even relock the bootloader. So it'll be fresh and new just like the day you bought it. To restore the Nexus we'll use ADB so make sure you have that set up and configured properly on your PC. Check the description below this video for a link on how to set up ADB and get it working properly. I'm going to start by navigating in my computer. It's on the C drive Here's my ADB software, and it's in Platform Tools. You just want to make sure you're in ADB. Also at the bottom of this video is a link for the ICL53F factory image. This is for the LTE Nexus only, the Verizon, the CDMA version. So double click to open that. I'm using WinRAR and you want to open the folder as well so everything except this flash all dot sh is needed so just go ahead and grab these and let's drag them out to our adb folder and then select the flash all dot sh and let's just remove that now you're good to go don't open this zip file we can close that. Make sure you have enabled USB debugging on your Nexus right there. And let's go ahead and plug it up for USB. Close any storage access windows that pop up. Now we're going to hold shift and right click. Go down to open a command window here. And type ADB devices. Make sure you get your serial number for your device. Good deal. We're connected and good to go. Now you want to reboot the phone into bootloader. So type ADB reboot bootloader. Enter. And there's the Nexus doing what it's supposed to. If all you want to do is relock the bootloader, just type fastboot OEM lock and hit enter. And as easy as that, you have relocked your bootloader. Now that that steps out of the way, we're going to continue with flashing the original firmware. To continue with flashing the original software, you're going to need to unlock the bootloader again. and you'll get the screen again warning you about the bootloader let's just go ahead and unlock it good now we're unlocked again and we can continue with flashing the original software make sure you type in these commands very carefully pause the video if you need to and double and triple check it Enter. So now we flash the stock bootloader. We want to tell it to reboot the bootloader. The bootloader will restart on the Nexus and we'll continue. Now we'll tell it to flash the factory radio.
When the line is correct, press Enter. Now you want to reboot the bootloader again. Once your bootloader resets, we'll continue with the last part of the radio. Once that line is correct, press enter. Okay, that took a couple of minutes to write that radio. Now, as you might have guessed, we're going to restart the bootloader. Finally, once that's back up, we're going to flash the system image. I C L five three F dot zip. Once you confirm that line is correct, press enter. When that's finished, your Nexus should boot up. All right, my Nexus was boot looping, so I pulled the battery and booted into fast boot mode. I'm going to go to select recovery. When you come to this screen with the little dead Android, <laughs> you want to press both volumes and the power button at the same time. Now you navigate with the volume and let's do a wipe data factory reset and push power to select yes. Okay, the data wipe is complete and that took at least five or six minutes. So now I'm gonna reboot system. And congratulations, you're back to a fresh start. So you can continue with setting up your device. Take it in for warranty work. Sell it, although I don't know why you'd wanna sell a Nexus. But more than likely, you just want a nice clean slate so you can start all over with the tweaks and mods, huh? Stay tuned, we're going to cover ROM and kernel installs and lots more mods to come. Subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.